All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Ruby Reaction, man. And today, we finally start Volume 2, Chapter 1. Best day ever. Shout out SpongeBob SquarePants. For anybody that knows that song, the greatest, one of the greatest songs ever in SpongeBob. And um, holy shit, man. If you guys saw the last reaction, Chapter 16, Black and White, the finale of Volume 1. Well, it doesn't really say finale, but it's the finale. Holy shit, man. That was crazy. That's probably the best episode I've seen so far. That and Chapter 8 was the best episodes. Mostly because I like seeing the fight choreography that these animation shows have. And holy shit, man. I wasn't expecting that. Like, I know you guys told, were saying this show was badass. And after um, moving past Chapter 15, Chapter 14 and 15, you guys told me this show was going to go... I'm gonna take another step up and holy shit it did right at the end end of volume one black and white crazy fucking fight scene in in the yard where they're trying to steal this um the dust from the sh from weiss's family and we saw the white fang they came out of nowhere trying to steal that stuff the white fang is who are who are faunus teamed up with this human dude Whose name I keep fucking forgetting. And um, yeah, they're trying to steal the dust. Blake comes out of nowhere. She's spying on them to make sure if it is actually the White Fang. She finds out it is. Well, she already knew it was going to be them, but she just wanted to make sure. Then she confronts them all by herself. She protects herself well enough. Then my dude, her fondest friend, comes out of nowhere. Starts being a badass with the. What's it called? Kendo stick? They turn into fucking nunchucks. They're fucking guns as well. Then Team Ruby shows up. Well, not Team Ruby. Only Ruby Rose and... Uh, and uh, Fuck. What's her name? Uh, Penny. Penny comes out of the Lord. Fucking hell, Penny. I love you. <laughs> Yo, Penny was fucking badass as hell. Crazy episode. Amazing fight scenes. Music was amazing. And... Yeah, and a freaking amazing end to... Volume 1, which I really enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed the reactions as well. But holy shit. Let's get straight into it, man. Ruby Volume 2, Chapter 1. Best day ever. All right, so we're just promoting a little stuff, okay. All right, we're going straight into it. No theme song. All right. From dusk till on, till dawn, fully reopened. Excuse me, mm. sorry. <laughs> Not really from Ooh. around here. Hello. Um, would you mind pointing me in the direction of the shop? Mm -hmm. I knew you were lost. Mercury, I will seriously pay you to shut Mercury. up. Mercury. That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Mm, no deal. Mm, fine. Whatever. You want me. Ah, <laughs> uh, we got another cool guy. What's up, my brother? Um, I don't, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, everybody's in color now. So how much farther? A few blocks. Oh, this place is so dull. Meh, I kind of like it. Tall buildings, diverse culture. And nice, dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's every city. Ooh, Emerald, Master Thief! Emerald, all right. Emerald and Mercury. I barely have oh, Emerald looks badass. You're no fun today. A little bookshop. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. How may I? Uh... Don't fall for oh, it, girl. Don't fall for it. <laughs> She's an um. Actually, She's a master pickpocket. Do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No. Just wondering. Oh, oh. 
What about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. Hey, do you have any comics? Near the front. Oh, no, wait. What about Third Crusade? Um, nah, fam, we ain't got that for you. <clears throat> don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. And what was it again? <sighs> Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. Except the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. Yo, what the? I hear you're planning on leaving. What the leaving fuck is happening? All the way to Vacuo. Your brothers in the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. And neither are we. You know are they mercenaries? Don't you? Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. So, yeah, I just noticed he looks like Wolverine. Fight back? Yes. Yo, I just fucking said Wolverine. Oh my god. Huh? Shawn Michaels, bitch. Mm. What's with that? Mercury and Emerald. All right. Well, fucking hell. Amazing intro. All right, we got the White Fang. Doing nothing, just going over. That's how that makes it still insane. Yeah, I love Nora, I love Nora and Yang. Sisters, friends, <laughs> wives. Four score and seven minutes ago, I had a dream. This ought to be good. Mm. A dream that one day the four of us Yo, will come together. Yang is so weird and quirky, but I fucking love her. Anyone has ever had? Ever? Did you steal my binder? I am not a crook. What are you talking about? I'm talking about kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with a yang. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Guys? Am I right? <laughs> they even throw a tomato. Oh my god, dude, this fucking show. More exchange students arriving in the tournament at the end of the year. Our second semester is going to be also, the tournament's not even near yet. Damn it. Tomorrow, which is why I've taken the time to schedule a series of wonderful events for us today. I don't know whether to be proud or scared of what you have in store. I don't know. <laughs> I this one out. Oh, Sooner yeah, I, not, I love you. I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I, for one, think that... Food fight. Man, that's harsh. So then we were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Nice. Right? And the best part is... Yo, that dude has some sick ass hair. But that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back secret. I'm talking secret, secret. Whoa, chill out, man, okay? I got it. I got it. You better. I just don't want to screw this up, you know? The people here are the coolest. No offense to you guys. Oh. <laughs> One taken. <laughs> okay, <they're laughs> Oh really man. So be cool, okay? You're gonna be cool, right? Dude, look at him. And they even have the thing. Good point. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I love you, Nora. Team Ruby versus Team Tudor, bro. Let's fucking go. It's lit. This is the battle I was looking for. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I love this show. Yo, how's a Fred gonna break a watermelon? It's some fucking badass, bro. Why do I keep imagining Super Smash Bros? 
Oh. Yo, Beacon doesn't mess around with food fights. Strike! Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this fucking show is so amazing. <laughs> Celery sticks. The great enemies. Vegetables and poultry. Ooh. <clears throat> Yo, is this dragon ballsy? Knockout. Ooh. Now we got sausages. Feels like her weapon. Magneto! It's time for some ruby badassery. Let's go, baby. Oh, yep. Here comes the music. Holy shit. Get the typhoon. <laughs> oh my god. I love these guys. Oh. Well, goddamn, Glinda. Children, please do not play with your food. Who was that? Oh, Yang, yeah. Let it go. <sighs> They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. But right now, they're still children. Oh, man, they're so young adults. Let them so live. Why not let them play the part. Whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you say? After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. Nope, the white thing. So they are members of the White Fang. Mercury and Emerald. Oh, look, she sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the. Oh, so that's the. Queen has pawns. Spare us the thought of you procreating. That was a joke. And this just might tell me where you two have been all day. What? Uh. I'm a professional, sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them Ooh. at least. I had <clears> that <throat> under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen, you little punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here and I would... Yo, why does... <laughs> I, uh... Cinder. Cinder. I thought I made it clear that you were to eliminate the would-be runner. Well, well, well. Going to what do we he have was here? Going to escape to vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? Yeah. There you go. Quiet. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in veil? <laughs> I just thought. Don't think. Obey. 
Yes, ma'am. So she's the leader. It won't happen again. And you. <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? Uh, 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 uh? <laughs> Sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town running scared. Police camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and... We're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, files, and rounds, and we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know. Uh. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, so what the hell are we doing now? We're moving. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. <sighs> Yo, this show just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Master Paypocketer. All those music changes. Okay. Well, I gotta get used to this one because I was already used to the other one. Alright, so we're gonna meet a lot of people now. Okay, go oh, goddamn! Well, holy shit, guys. Yo, that's the end of the episode. Volume 2, Chapter 1. Best I ever and okay man. Look, the intro was the fucking best intro we've had so far. The most epic food fight in the history of the world. I don't think there's any been <laughs> a fucking food fight had the amazing fight choreography. A food fight. I don't remember seeing what the fuck John did, but I'm pretty sure my dude took a no. Cause he's only taking one W. I think out of all the episodes I've seen, John's only taking one W, so Okay, so let's skip that. Fucking amazing fight choreography. Monty Um, who's the, I think the creator of this. Kills it. Speaking amazing, the music's always amazing. Every one of them showed off a little aspect of their um, uh, combat training that they have. I don't remember seeing John at all. I don't, yeah, I don't remember seeing John. I think he fucking threw a watermelon. That's it. But anyways, move on to that. We meet. Emerald and Mercury, who are robbers, stealers, pickpocketers, who are working for the White Fang, and we meet fucking, I think her name was Cinder, yeah, I think it was Cinder, I think, her, yeah, yeah, we met Cinder, who I'm guessing is the leader of um. Well, am I not guessing? She is the leader of wife, the White Fang, and they're not moving on from the dust now. She said they're moving on to phase two of the overall mission. So I think the attack on Weekend is incoming. Hopefully, because I want to see some badass fighting again. And yeah, man, they all got some badass fucking looks to them. I just, I mean, whoever's designing the females in this show. Oh, God damn! You know, <laughs> shit, they all fucking look, but yeah, man, fucking amazing episode for f the first episode for, for volume two, fucking amazing start, amazing food fight, probably the greatest, that was an amazing fight choreography, fucking just using 
vegetables, fruit, turkeys, um, fucking breadsticks able to apparently decimate a fucking watermelon somehow. And yeah, we meet some other fucking badass characters. We met a fucking Wolverine dude in in the little bookshop. Emerald and Mercury seem like they're gonna be fucking badass as hell. They look badass as hell. My the fondest dude has a new friend who I'm guessing is gonna join Team Ruby also and Team Juniper. Cool dude with some blue hair, beautiful smile, shining teeth. And yeah, man, fuck. Yo, the show just keeps on getting amazing, amazing. Honestly, after chapter eight for me, it just took up another step. And the finale was fucking amazing for volume one. And I, we start off like this for chap for volume two. Fuck, man. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the reaction. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe down below. Comment down below what you guys thought about it. Share and like the video if you have any. You're part of any Ruby fan clubs, any Discord servers, any Reddit pages or whatever. Share the video. Let them know we have a new Ruby reactor. And yeah, man. If you speak Spanish, don't be afraid. Comment down below, man. I speak Spanish also. I'm Latino, so don't worry about that. And yeah. See you guys next time for Volume 2, Chapter 2. Welcome to Beacon. Are there any more two-parters or is that it? Yeah, that's it. There's no more two-parters. Everything else is the longer episodes now. Well, holy shit. There you have it, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sub, like, comment, share, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one.